All right, in this video, we're going to look at an example of complex animations, a new update to KOWP, and this really does change the game in terms of how you can animate items in KOWP. What complex animations will let you do is it'll let you do things like this, and whereas how KOWP used to be, you had to add separate animations to make it uh, scroll down, and then you had to add another animation to make it scale. And then if you wanted to reverse it like this, you'd have to add some delays based on whether it was going down or going back up. Well, that is not the case anymore. Complex animations lets you put all of this inside of one animation. So I'm gonna show you how to do that following these directions here and also pointing out some key things that Frank the developer did explain because uh, it is important and this is what was giving me a little bit of trouble at first. So I have a component loaded up and I'm just gonna go into that component and we're just gonna uh, go to animation. We'll go to plus and let's just react on loop with return. Loop with return is exactly what this is doing. It's just going down, scaling out, and then it's going right back to where it started. Okay, and we can do all of this inside of one animation. That's what's cool about complex animations. So underneath the action, scroll on down to complex animation. We'll leave the ease on normal and let's go to animator. Some key things to note. I'm just going to follow this step by step and I'm going to point out some key things that are going to help you learn about why you do things the way you do with complex animations. So it says at 50%. So this CSS3 stuff, I got some good stuff coming up soon too. Um, check out this video right here of all the various things I've done. Um, I just posted this recently. I'm going to do them in level of difficulty because everybody wants to see you know, at least one of each. So I'm definitely going to do that. But nonetheless, uh, the CSS3... Uh, it starts at 0%, it ends at 100%. So for the first half of our animation, we want our Y offset to be 500. What this is, what's going to happen here based on where our component's set at, it's going to slide it down 500 pixels over the first half of its animation. So I'm going to bump this up to 50%. Think of that as half of your animation. And we want the Y offset to be 500 pixels. Now it might not move it exactly as far as the way this one moved in this video, but we are still going to see pretty much the same thing. And I'm just gonna leave this straight uh, alone for right now. So I'm gonna go to add, and let's just go ahead and see what happens. See that, see how it slides down? Now it's looping with return. You may notice it pauses right there. And the reason why it pauses is because I've only done 50% of my animation. Um, we will get that pause unless you complete the entire animation. Now, notice what we want to happen here. We want this thing to scale down and then we want it to scale out. So if you read those animations, you want it to move down and then after you move down, you want to scale the image. So this is the tricky part, but it'll take some practice. Also at 50%, now let's go along with this for one second. I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen if you didn't do this. But also at 50%, we want our scale XY. Scale XY will scale it proportionally both on uh, vertically and horizontally. We want the scale to be one. And the reason why, what scale one means, it's gonna be the original size. Think of one as the original size. Two would be double, three would be triple, uh, 0.5 would be half. So let's go ahead and add that. Now, this is not going to do anything in terms of our animation right now. But what this is doing, this is telling custom that, hey, I want to go down 500 pixels, okay? And I want my scale to be at one, at halfway through my animation. So halfway through my anim animation, go down, don't change the scale. Now let's add, how do we want to complete this thing? So at 100%, um, what do we want to happen now? We want to scale XY and we want it to be three times as large. So, oh, my keyboard's not working. There we go. So three times as large because one's original, three means three times as big. So let's go ahead and add that and let's see what happens now. Boom, boom. See that? And now you may say, man, this is kind of fast compared to what we're doing. Well, we can adjust the speed and what we can do there. But notice what it's doing. It's going down, then it scales. And now it's going backwards because it's looping with return. Loop with return will reverse the animation. Now, if I come in here and do loop, it's going to go down, scale out, down, scale out, down, scale out, because loop is not going to return. It's just going to, you know, down, out, and then it starts over. Whereas loop with return will reverse your animation. And that's exactly what we have going on over here. Well, you may say, man, this is too fast or this is too big. Well, if it's too fast, let's just bump the duration up. So here's what I want you to think about. 40 means four seconds. What this means is the first two seconds starting right now, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, then two seconds it scales out. Because remember how we had this set up? 
we had it set up as the fit first 50 percent 50 percent of your animation time which would be two seconds right now i want it to just slide down i don't want the scale to change you have to tell custom to do that and then for the last 50 percent since we're scales not changing at 50 percent from 50 to 100 it's going to go from a scale of one to a scale of three so that last 50 percent of our animation now let me just check this and let me come back and let's just cut this down to say two. All right, so there we go. This is a two second anima animation. And if we double check that, so starting, so one 1,000, two 1,000, one 1,000, two 1,000. See that? It's two seconds one way, two seconds the other. Now, what would happen if we went back and took away this uh, scale piece? What's going to happen now is it's nothing telling uh, the scale to not be three. What this is saying is, is when our animation is done, when we're at 100%, we want to be three times as big as what we started with. Well, we never told it when to start. So it's going to start at the very beginning. It's going to go from a size of one to three times as big over the whole course of that animation. And you will notice now that this animation is going to be different. Let it load up correctly. But as you can see, it's scaling as soon as it slides down. Do you notice that? As soon as it slides down, it's starting to scale and it's scaling there. Then it reverses it. Whereas if we go back in here again and we add a, just let me save this. That's a little trick. If you want to get into the 50% real quick, just open it up, click save real quick. Now click plus and I have it set up at 50%. Just a little uh, fun fact right there. Um, but again, if we go back and we set our scale X, Y down to one, that's not going to change the scale. And you have to tell custom, hey, for the first half, I want my scale to be one. Essentially, that means it's not going to change its size. And now if we come back and do that, we should see the correct animation. It should only scale after it slides down. This is very important in terms of positioning items. In uh, my next video, what I'm going to do, like I said, uh, various levels of difficulty, I'm going to come and do the uh, little green square that you see here, the green, the red, and the blue. I had them doing all sorts of crazy things. Like the green one, I think it goes all the way around, yeah. And the yellow does too, whereas the red kind of just goes one way in the uh, or the other. But um, there you have it. You know, an intro to complex animations. We're definitely going to make these much more complex. Some of my animations have 20 entries in it. I could easily see where you could just have a, a, a ton. I guess 100 or I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Um, Just a quick intro of things you want to be careful with. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.